Dr. Haruko Obokata is used to working quietly in her Kobe laboratory, far away from the attention of the outside world. But today, the young researcher was suddenly plunged into the media spotlight as news of her breakthrough spread around the world. She told the collected journalists that early on, her idea was considered so bizarre, she'd nearly given up on it altogether. Nobody believed me when I told them what I'd found. So one time when I was lying awake in bed at night, I told myself that I'd scrap the experiment completely if I didn't get results the next day. Well, that next day sort of turned into five years. Dr. Obokata and her team have managed to regenerate stem cells from mature adult cells by immersing the tissue samples in mild acid. So far, it's only been done with mice, but if it works for human cells too, it could lead to all sorts of new treatments. In the future, this will potentially allow us to carry out organ regeneration inside the body and could help us to understand how we can control the production of stem cells to create cancer control technology. Japanese researchers have long been at the forefront of stem cell research. In 2006, another Japanese scientist was the first in the world to succeed in turning adult human cells back into stem cells. He won the Nobel Prize for his discovery. No Japanese woman has ever won a Nobel Prize so far. Rupert Winfield Hayes, BBC News, in Tokyo.